Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. All right, you guys, I promised to give you an overview of my room, just a quick one. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm only going to let you see the side that I'm kind of trying to organize, I think. Well, I know that I've made better sense of it so far, but um, I'm going to come over here. This side of my room is where I used to scrapbook, but I haven't in years, so um, it has actually turned into my crafting side. I did have, um, it's just where I craft and I keep all of my, well, a lot of my embellishments and stuff. I have a pegboard right here, and this is coming into my room. Uh, the This is my special place where I create all of these special things, you know. Um, I enjoy crafting, so it really, mm, I just, I guess this just speaks to the years of me crafting, mm, not to mention the, once the scrapbooking took off, all of the products that came out, yeah, I almost had to have them. Well, okay. Right here, I'm about to show you this. This is a center block. And the thing I don't like about my room, I love, love, love it. But I have carpet down here. As you can see, you see all those little glue dots. And yeah, in order for me to get this fixed, mm, I would have to pack up all this stuff. And that would take a packing company to come in and pack it. And have floors laid down. And yeah, that would... um require a whole lot so right now I'm kind of stuck with the carpet on the floor and you'll see the little I try to sweep it up vacuuming doesn't really pick it up but I do try to sweep it up but that's my cinder block that I actually use I went to the store and purchased that to place my items under it when I need it to dry totally flat okay as you come over here I am going to kind of pan around so that I could start on this wall right there right here I have what I used to call my candy station uh, my candy shop or whatever you call it I am going to have to take everything off of this cabinet and redo it oh my till one of my tilde dolls could sit there I, that means I need to make another one I could sit her in that chair yes I need to make another tilde doll which I have I've made three I need to make another one this right here, and I'm trying to hold my hand as steady as I can, is my, um, what's the name of this? My Prima wall. And it has all of my flat, loose flowers on there. Mind you, I have so many Prima products. I love, love, love Prima. Over the last year, I have not purchased much of Prima anything because not anything flowers because I have so many of them now I can almost just huh, not purchase and use what I have but every now and then I might see a pretty collection that comes out I mean that come out in yeah I'll just purchase but at the end of my Prima wall I have a lot of and I say a lot of because I have so many more of my Mm, Martha Stewart punches. Sometimes I forget to use those punches. And on the table there, I have the EK Success punches. Uh, some of them that would fit over there. And then a bunch of accessories that I actually use. Okay, and then on this wall right here, as you can see, my Teresa Collins stamp maker. At one time, I wanted to make my own personal stamps. I bought all the products for it. That has been sitting there for probably six or seven years, have not used it yet. One day I'm going to make my own stamps uh, the way I want. So, yeah, but I use these plastic containers originally. Um, I was storing stuff in it. I think this was my first crafting solution and I had them all over the place. This is the only one that I have left because I switched over to the Expedit system. I think in here right now, I might have, I can't even count them. It may be a good 15 Expedit shells. Now, you know, Ikea discontinued them. So, they now have a system that is exactly like the Expedit and it's called Calyx. 
are Calix, K-A-L-L-A-X, and it houses all of the your product, just like the Expedite or Expedite, I don't know how people, what people call it. Um, that's my creative expression. What is that? The expression, the original one, I have not updated it i refuse to my gypsy is up there i want to keep the original architect architecture for my machine so no i have not updated or upgraded i also have the crooked the original crooked matter of fact i gave it to my granddaughter um the create yeah those are the crooked ones that i have so I have not updated any of them and I don't plan on it because I want to use my design studio and my sure cuts a lot and all of those um, machines that you know could make that machine be as versatile as I want them to be. Um, I did change out all of the canvas boxes that's in my room right now that was part of my organization as you can see all of those boxes have been changed there there's a collection at ikea called drona it's d-r-o-n-a and those canvases not the plastic basket ones but the canvases there they fit they are 13 by 13 and they are super deep i am actually labeling each of them those have michael's recollection stuff in it that has target dollar spot stuff in it that's jolie's i am actually housing or trying to house all of my embellishments in the same basket so that i can just look for a product that i want but yes, these are embellishments in those little utility cases. Um, yeah, it just makes easy for me to find what I'm looking for. Now I'm over here. I have in that corner one of my dressed up dress forms. I love dress forms. You'll see them all over my room. So yeah, I really just love dress forms. Um, I have those baskets. They're filled with embellishments also. And then here's one right here. I think I got that unit, this unit, from Walmart. I think. I can't remember exactly, but I think I did. And the baskets that go along with it, I even got extra baskets for them. Um, yeah, so this right here is a knockoff Rascog. But I needed another one, and I didn't want to go all the way to Ikea. So, yeah. I actually went to Sam's or Costco. Can't remember which store. This is my wall of Alex drawers. These are also from um, Ikea. I love the drawers because they're deep, and they're wide, and they house all of my embellishments. And then I have one on the end. I have them stacked three high, three across. So there's a lot of embellishments in there. And the last one housed all of my paint. And the drawers are deep. So yes, there's a lot of embellishments and paints and such in there. So yeah, another favorite of mine are the aprons. And I have my aprons. I just showed you all one in, a, in one of the videos I did last. I love the aprons. Um, these I usually keep hung up. And that one is... This is one that belongs to my granddaughter. She has two, one that she used and one that I keep hung up so it's clean and pretty. And um, yeah, but that's the top of the Alex display. And then over here, let's see over here, I actually have a little refrigerator in here and I didn't purchase it for this room. It just so happened along the years I had a small um, uh, little refrigerator somewhere so I just use it down here and it stays stocked with um, my teas and such yeah so over here I have another wall of paper you guys um, yeah and those are the original Rascogs those are the real and real Rascogs and they house my mixed media products 
Yeah, and then I'm going to go as far as this one right here. This is another Expedit 2x4. And um, I need to straighten it up because I have to find a solution for all of those... Oh, um, all of those punches that's up there, and I'll do that today. But over in the corner, you'll see more of my um, dress forms. I just love, love, love dress forms. And then that drawer down there, it also has a bunch of my lace and ribbon and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it is the new Calyx system. From Ikea but it looks exactly like and it's the exact same size as the Expedit so yeah if you're freaking out about them discontinuing the Expedit don't worry they replaced it with another system the exact same system I think they just changed the company name because I'm telling you it's the exact same system this is where I keep my crooked cartridges mind you those are double stacked um, and I think I have over 300, no, I think it's like 250 something. There's a bunch of them in there and there's another. Um, I love my Crooked machine. That was one of my favorite machines before I purchased my Cameo. Yeah, but okay, you guys, these are, let's see. This is where I keep my raw materials. And when I say raw, I mean my um, chipboard. I purchased my chipboard from um, Paper Mart. And the paper is pretty reasonable. I get about 450 sheets, I guess, for a little over $20 every, mm, I guess every other year I end up purchasing a box. But if I don't give it away... It's good for a year or two. Yeah, but um, usually I'll give it away, put it in giveaway, stuff like that. When I say raw, these are my um, the acrylic books. These are the covers to make books. Just a lot of stuff that I use to make mini albums and such like that. I am doing a brief, you know, pass by. Um, over here, like I said, I have the Rascogs, and that's with my mixed media stuff. But as you can see, no, I'm not going to show you that back there. I'm putting, I'm taking my hand down. <laughs> I have, um, I just like things that I can look at to inspire me to create. There are sequences in there that I need to, well, I just have too many sequins, so I need to get them all together. These are new stamps that I purchased. The phone stamps by Tim Holtz. I like the phone stamps. Um, they make for great mixed media products. I have a bunch of them. I'm going to pan over here. Down there, those are a lot of my original phone, phone stamps that's in there. Here are some that I actually purchased from... Tuesday morning I actually got this entire collection from Tuesday morning and then that's just a bunch of stuff in there that I use but this is one of my workstations this is merely um, two two by two and two two by four expedits pushed together and it makes a workstation so on this as you can see I have a lot of stuff these are my what are these things called chunky charms these are ones that I swapped out with people I, so I didn't make a lot of these some of these I made and these are ones that are by I forget which company this is but I love them and these are the ones that I have on display but I have a whole luggage case full that I collect and I love them I just like looking through them when I do mixed media stuff I actually use these ideas they're great ideas um this is just stuff that I need <laughs> yeah this um Zyron 900 one year I was looking for one and um my girl sent me that one I was so happy I'm not going to say who she is because if you were around then 
you would know who she is. I don't want everybody tracking over to her channel trying to, uh, no, I won't even say that. But yeah, she sent me that Zyron. I thought it was just as sweet as, oh my gosh, this community is awesome, you guys. I don't know how many ways to tell you this, but this is the greatest community ever. Um, that's my light box, and that's one of my, that's my big shot, and that's one of my cutting machines. I have some this close to me, some products, some projects that I want to do. Um, and here is these two bins. What I do when I purchase stuff is I put the stuff in the bins. I need to make some Easter products to send out. I'm trying to do too much, I know, but I'm trying to get her done this time. Uh, now that I'm actually in the swing of things, I'm hoping to get a whole lot done this time around. But yeah, and usually what I do is I'll put this stuff away, but because I was reorganizing, I really couldn't put it away yet. So I wanted to, what I do is put it in here. Once it's filled up, I'll start putting it away or, or sometimes I'll just put it away before it's built and yeah um those are down there some cards that I did some of them I actually donated to a few places and those right there are in that purple box is another whole box of the little mini uh, punches I gotta find a drawer for them now this um yes yeah, station here is just a bunch of stuff. I love stuff to be displayed in my room. I know. Do I have enough yes pace or what? I love that stuff. Um, these are all of my stamps. Like I said, they're in 13. These are filled to the tilt, you guys. And then I ran out of space for them, so I start putting them down here again. These are my embossing folders. Now, this is how I used to do my little books. I always did Tim Holtz books like this and I have this one I could show it to you and what I'll do is I'm trying to make sure I'll just make make emboss take the embossing folders and do little ideas and put the book together so whenever I have one of those brain freezes I hopefully pick up one of the books and I can get some ideas from it and it inspires me to you know use this or that or yeah because sometimes your mojo just does not work like you want it to I have loads of embossing folders here and then if you look over there you'll see those blue cases there they're filled in there and then I have some down on the floor so Yes, I'm trying to organize everything and get everything in its place. But what I found was I had too many little containers all around. So it was really making it hard for me to organize. So right now what I'm trying to do is get the stuff organized. I'm so happy because look. I can see my floor all the way through. I like this. So I'm trying to keep it like this. I'm trying to get it so that <clears throat> more than one person can be in here. And yeah. Now, mind you, this is how <clears throat> overwhelming this became for me. This is a bag of goodies that I got, I think, last year from Target. And it has a bunch of Easter stuff in it. Guess what, you guys? I don't have to buy Easter stuff this year. I'm hoping I don't. Because I have a whole bag here that probably got lost in translation. <laughs> yeah, I put it down in my room and forgot about it, right? Okay, so over here is my other dress form. And these are the ones that's dressed to impress. She's one of them, yeah. So on the other side, I can't show you that stuff because, yeah, that's a peak of it. But that's a whole different story over there. But then I have a basket here. And in here, I have some of my bulk laces. I'll show you what I can. But, yeah, I have some of my bulk laces. And I'll have to show you 
all of my laces later. Here are some of my flowers and this is not where I house my flowers. I'll have to show you that. It's on the other side too. But I do stash them here. Um, just, yeah, so I have a, an entire, these are Prima's um, station of, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pull that out. Flowers here. So, yeah, I'm right back around excuse me, to this side of the room where I started. And right there I have a pegboard. I think I showed you that initially with some of my products on there that I use a whole lot. So, yeah, right now I am I am going to go ahead and let this be the first video that I did because I need to finish the other side and I will show you what I have on the other side. Oh, let me go on the other side of this workstation here because here is my, um, what is this? This is my Big Shot Pro. And that stays here. It's too heavy to go anywhere else. And on this side, I have lots of stuff right here because I'm trying to figure out where to put it. But I also have these cubby little holder things on this side that I have a bunch of stuff in too. So yeah you guys um those are tags that I did. Um yeah I just have I can't show you in there because inside this uh aisle that I'm in because I have all my dies down there. I'm working on that. I have them in a system with the magnet sheets that I get from Oriental Trading, but I have so many of them. I have them piled on top of each other. I'm trying not to buy anything else, but yeah, that is right now this side of my craft room, and I hope you enjoyed it. It probably looks crowded to you all, but to me, it's peaceful. It's organized now because you could have you should have seen it uh three weeks ago yes it was like oh my gosh yeah but um i display a lot of the swaps that i've done over time um all throughout my room but for the most part i do like to display stuff that i've made um i gotta i could put more of the punches that i have up there because there's more of the Martha Stewart larger punches. But yeah, I um I do display a lot of the products or the swaps that I get from other people because it gives me inspiration. But I love to see things that I've actually created. So yeah, in between here I do have a lot of my products because that makes me happy. Yeah, so, okay, you guys, that is this side of my room. The video is already 23 minutes if you want. Um, just watch it in parts and pieces because I have two more rooms or spaces this size. Really, I have three because I ended up going outside of my scrap room. And I said, never say never because I said I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't carry my scrap stuff into other parts of my house. Okay, you guys, it has happened. So I'll have to show you my new addition to my scrap room, but it is only there to house my crafting stuff. I'm not going to use it to work in, but like I said, never say never. I may decide one day, hey, I'm going to just work right here. I'll show you that another day, but yes, this is my room right now. Yeah, so... <sighs> I am organizing it and hopefully it'll stay this way organized. Um, but okay, yeah, and I also wanted to show you all, wait, how I am uh, labeling all of my canvas boxes. I'm using these chalkboard place cards. Yeah. And this chalk, I think it's by, I don't know who it's by, but I think it's by American Crafts. And they come in pretty pastel colors. And I think it's by K, oh, it is by K and Company. It's by K and Company, so they are making new product. They need to come up back with their papers. 
Come on, K and Company, bring your papers back. Because um, I don't know why they stopped selling their double-sided paper. Their paper is awesome. I think I have every collection. I love that paper. But, okay, enough of K and Company. Here is the top of this Expedit system here. Now, this is a 1x5. And this is a 2x4. And I have another 2x2. Two right there so that it actually meshes with this entire shelf that's on top of it and yeah this is it right here I just I have stuff there there's my little I think this bubblegum machine has to be over 30 years how old is my son he's over 30 so it's older than he is mm -hmm. but yeah oh and this is my typewriter I think I've got that mm, I don't even know where I got it from but anyway about five or six years ago yeah we went into the typewriter phase and everybody needed a typewriter yes I got that for a little or nothing um, yeah but that is and now you see what I'm talking about things coming right back because now they've made one we are memory keepers have one just like this and it's the style of the Smith Corona which this is I have the case that came with mine. Mine is perfect working conditions. So yeah, I use it from time to time if I remember. Yeah. But I have stamps that look like that too. So yeah, but I like it for display purposes. But okay, you guys. I, three minutes ago I said I was done. Okay, I am now done. And now I'm going to pan around. And yeah, this is my room. This is the special place to make these special things. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was long. Mm, I like this. I like doing this, but uh, sometimes it gets chaotic in here. And you can't see in my room because it's disastrous. So I'm going to try to keep this room in some kind of order. I don't shop as much as I used to because, um, can you say scared straight? I think when my room got totally out of control, it scared me to have all this stuff here in an unmanageable um, condition. So I had to get it back in order. And in order for me to get it in order, it became total chaos. So yeah, I got a handle on it now. And, uh, I love my space. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye-bye.